So today I wanted to talk a little bit about why walking and turnout can actually reduce or restrict your point range. Yes, you heard that right. So a lot of dancers walk and turn out and a lot of them do it because they're naturally externally rotated in their hips and it's comfortable and a lot do it because it thinks it makes them look like an answer. However, there's a very big downside to walking and turn out that a lot of people don't realize. And I wanted to explain a little bit about what happens with the foot when you walk and how changing the position of your foot when you walk can actually improve your point range long term. So we'll just have a look at what happens in a normal foot. So when we're walking, we are ideally designed to hit a little bit on the outside of the heel. As we come through the middle, our foot should spread and flatten a little bit and have a little bit of pronation. So pronation is not a bad thing, it's important in this position. As we roll through, the foot should slightly supinate. And watch what happens here, as we do that, the foot arches up into a little pointed position and then we roll off. So every step we get a little bit of pronation and a little bit of supination, a little bit of pronation and a little bit of supination and that helps keep the dynamic stability of the midfoot working. Now what happens if we walk and turn out? So if we're walking with the feet turned out, we hit the ground, we roll through in pronation and then we come off we push the big toe off to the side, which can increase your development of a bunion, and the foot stays in pronation. So you're actually missing 10,000 mini point stretches a day if you're walking with your feet turned out. So if you're wanting to develop better feet and more dynamically controlled feet with a much more beautiful line, I highly advise you to think about being able to work through the foot a little bit more when you walk. It's one of the first things that I look at if I'm assessing somebody in clinic is how they walk and how effective is that. If you're walking with a flat foot, you've got no shock absorption, that can lead to issues with stress fractures through the foot, further up the leg, even issues right up into the low back and hips. So I'd really encourage you to have a little think about how you walk, possibly get somebody else to film you so that you can watch and see if you're actually using your feet to get the best um, out of your feet as possible, rather than resorting to any drastic measures of overstretching the feet to try and improve your point range.